Here we are, March 10th. Is that when it was? <laughs> Describe for me what it is. You're up there on stage in London, and what is going on? Are there protesters in the audience? Do they have signs? Are oh, they shouting? No, no, no. Or a small club, a 2000 seater in London. We'd been there before, and actually the time we played there before, it was all Texans, <laughs> expatriate Texans that were over there living and working. And uh, so you know, everybody is just, we're just cheering we were the song. No, yeah, it was just a regular show. Yeah, there was nothing political about the show at all. So what prompted this? this well, was, I think it was before Traveling Soldier. Mm -hmm. Our love will never end, waiting for the soldier to come back again. Traveling Soldier, one of their big hits about a soldier who dies in Vietnam. Soldiers come in But of course, the soldiers on everyone's mind that night were the men and women poised to invade Iraq. At home, the UN was divided in heated argument. Demonstrators were in the streets from London to San Francisco. Even though 70% of Americans were clear that the protesters were wrong and it was time to go to war. We don't plan things that we're going to say and sometimes it backfires, not this big, but in the long run, we always feel like it makes the show fresher and more genuine when things aren't scripted. Just 15 words, but they were 15 words. Just so you know we're ashamed, the President of the United States is from Texas. Why did you say it? Uh, out of frustration, at that moment on the eve of uh, war, I had a lot of questions that I felt were unanswered. Believe me, there'll be a lot more on this topic later. But that night, the Dixie Chicks say, they didn't really give Natalie's words a second thought. You do this, the crowd reacts, doesn't react? Yes, they reacted. There was no booing. <laughs> Big cheer? What? Did you want that? I, I, like, I mean, that would mean that there was thought behind it. And I'm telling you, there wasn't thought behind it. You know, we didn't walk off that stage going, oh my God, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. I can't believe I said that. Neither of you listening to it said, for a split second, I kind of went, and then it was so fleeting because I just, I just know her. You know, she tells a story about how when she was young, she was playing, you know, just banging on the piano, and her father said, Natalie, not another note. You cannot play another <laughs> note. I can't, I can't handle it. And she, she just, told me several times to stop To be playing. quiet. And she just <laughs> sat there, and she looked right at him, and she just pressed it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And that's Natalie. And I think, um, and I love that, and I, and I think it's a beautiful thing to be that uninhibited. And so all of this is very... I don't know, I, I don't want it to break her spirit. What was the first sign you had that there was sort of a seismic tremor from this? Simon, our manager, coming in. Well, we were going into his hotel, going up to have, oh, to watch our video, I mm -hmm. think. And um, he got a call and, you know, he's pacing back and forth. Oh, no, you know, we're automatically going, what? What is it? Uh, and then he says, you know, he gets off the phone, we're like, what? What happened? Well, the AP picked up on what you said the other night, and, uh, but don't worry, it's going to blow over in three days. And I looked at him and I go, no, it's not. <laughs> he goes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Don't worry about it, you know, doing the old manager spiel. And I said, ah, I don't think so. And was she ever right? It started with angry calls to radio stations. We're going to boycott them for their music, and we're going to boycott you for playing it if you don't stop playing it. Well, ma'am, that was the last one you're going to hear. Hundreds of stations simply stopped playing the songs they had celebrated over and over again hours before. I love their songs, but I don't agree with what they did. Thank y'all for pulling the Dixie Chicks, and I think we should be just as embarrassed for them. One columnist said she might have well have said Osama bin Laden is her lover. Oh, I, mean, I can't believe that's even that's worth repeating. Stupid broads. Yeah. You know, and, and we'll take the heat for our mistakes, but this is a little out of control. I mean, when people say things like Saddam's angels. On the internet, they had pictures of you all with Saddam. Doctored right? pictures, and that's that's internet stuff. It's Doctored ridiculous. Pictures. Clear that up. We did not have our picture made with Saddam. <laughs>